Kenya's economy has recorded its highest growth rate over the last five years, hitting 7.5% in the year 2021. That's according to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics. The Economic Survey of 2022 details progress made by different sectors, with only the agricultural sector reporting a contraction. The growth comes after the economy contracted in the year 2020 following the COVID-19 pandemic that forced majority of sectors to scale down. Sam Gituku starts off our bulletin tonight. The Economic Survey 2022 by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics shows that the Kenyan economy expanded by 7.5% in the year 2021, a rate last reported close to 15 years ago. This a recovery from the 2020 numbers when the economy contracted by 0.3%. Kenya compares favorably to her neighbors, with Uganda coming closest with a 4.7% growth in gross domestic product. The economy remains heavily dependent on agriculture, which accounts for 22.4% of GDP. Industries collectively account for 22.4%, while the economy is still heavily driven by the services sector at 52.4%. These are services in the transport, real estate, wholesale, retail trade and repairs businesses. As various sectors expanded, agriculture shrank by 0.2%, manufacturing grew by 6.9%, and the accommodation and food services, which had been majorly affected by COVID-19 containment measures in 2020, grew by 52.4% last year. The manufacturing sector real, the volume of output for the sector grew by 6.6% in 2021, mainly due to the increased production of non-metallic mineral products, like cement, leather and related products and dairy products subsectors. The country remains heavily dependent on import goods, which grew to 2.1 trillion shillings worth of goods, compared to exports worth 743.7 billion shillings. This leaves a balance of trade of 1.4 trillion shillings to the disadvantage of Kenya, all of which is paid for in foreign currency. Kenya's top exports to the world in 2021 were horticultural products, tea and coffee, most of them unfinished products. On the other hand, Kenya's main imports were finished petroleum products, industrial machines, iron sheets, and animal and vegetable fats, and oils for human consumption. They are paid for in foreign currency. The transport sector recorded remarkable improvement with air transport recording 6.6 .6 million passengers against 4.5 million in 2020. Domestic air travelers stood at 3.8 million against international passengers at 2.7 million. On rail transport, the standard gauge railway cargo business and the country 13 billion shillings, while the passenger train Madaraka Express brought in 2.2 billion shillings. In total, SGR, which turns five years later this month, earned the country 15.2 billion shillings. In the same period, the old railway line and Kenya 234 billion shillings in revenue. And as the country and the world contend with the global increase in commodity prices, similar trends were registered in 2021 when the inflation rates rose to 6.1 percent, the highest since 2018. At the moment, the inflation rate stands at 6.5 percent. All these other sectors of the economy are expected to continue on a growth trajectory after successful containment of the COVID-19 pandemic and the projected peaceful general election, given the country's mature democracy. Over the same period, a net of less than 200,000 jobs were added to the economy, the public sector now accounting for 923,000 jobs against 1.9 trillion in the private sector. However, eight in every 10 jobs held in the country are in the informal sector, where only one in every 100 jobs are self-employment. <laughs> With a growth in the gross domestic product, the government could easily use the statistics to negotiate for more loans, whether locally or externally. Sam Gitukusrizen TV. Yeah.